Hello everyone, welcome to this new video where we are going to solve this tricky equation. So, first thing to do, I would like to ask you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That's the only way you can support me. Thank you. So, let's just solve our equation. So, the first thing to do is to see that we can do this times this is equal to this times this one. So, let's just do it. So we will have 3 power x times 2 power x, which is equal to 4 power x times 5. So we have this equality. Now, this is again, we know that if we have a power n times b, power n we can again write it as a times b all power n so that's what we are going to apply here so we have 3 times 2 power x which is equal to 4 power x times 5 so 3 times 2 is again equal to 6 power x, which is again 4 power x times 5. Okay, note that we are going to solve this using two methods. The first method, we are going to apply the log function on both sides of this equation. So here I will just call log function ln. So if I, I apply ln on both sides of this equation, I will have a ln of 6 power x, which is equal to the ln of 5 times 4 power x. I can still write this as 5 times 4 times 4 power x. Okay. Note also here that this ln is well defined since this one is greater than zero and this term here is also greater than zero okay we know that you uh, using the property of the ln function we can rewrite this as x times ln of six which is equal to ln of five times four power x this is because we used the property of this ln saying that ln of a power x is equal to x ln of a. So that's what we apply to obtain this. Okay. Now we are going to apply the property of the ln function on this one. So the property the ln function of a product is the sum of the ln function. So let's just apply it here. So we have the, the left hand side x ln of 6 and the right hand side here will just be ln of 5 plus ln of 4 power x. Okay. Now we have, uh, we are still going to apply the property of the ln function here. So we have x ln of 6, which is equal to ln of 5 plus x ln of 4. So we have this one. Okay. Now if I send these terms here and on the left hand side i will have x ln of 6 minus x ln of 4 which is equal to ln of 5 okay now if i put x outside i will have ln of 6 minus ln of 4 which is equal 
the ln of 5. Note that I will also solve this using the second method at the end of this video. So here I can directly see that my x is equal to ln of 5 divided by ln of 6 by ln of 6 minus ln of 4. Okay. So this is the solution to the first equation. You can still use the property of the ln function to simplify this one here, but I will just leave it to you to simplify it. Okay. On the second method, if uh, I have, uh, if we have, let's just rewrite our equation first. Our equation was c power x divided by 4 power x, which is equal to 5 divided by 2 power x. Okay, the second method I'm going to use is just to see that I can rewrite this as and you write this as 3 divided by 4 power x, which makes sense, which is equal to 5 divided by 2 power x. Okay. Now, what is this? If on this one, I will send this 2 here. Okay. So, I will have 2 power x times 3 divided by 4 power x which is equal to 5 okay once i have this one i can also rewrite this as 2 times 3 divided by 4 everything power x which is equal to 5. To obtain this one, I use the same property saying that a power n times b power n is equal to a b power n. So that's what I use to write this. Okay. Now, if I multiply this one inside, I will just have 2 times 3 divided by 4. So let's just rewrite it. I will have 2 times times 3 divided by 4 power x which is equal to 5. So that that's what is written here. Okay. Now this is again 6 divided by 4 power x which is equal to 5. Okay. So if I want to simplify this 6 divided by 4 already here, or in order to get the same res result as in the first method, I will not simplify it. I will just leave it like this. Okay. So now I know that this one will always be positive and this is also positive. So I can apply the ln function on both sides of this one and I will have the ln of just remember here that the ln function I just mean the log function so ln of 6 divided by 4 power x which is equal to the ln of 5 okay now what is this one Remember that the property of the ln function is that ln of a times x is equal, power x is equal to x ln of a. So if I apply it to this one, I will just have x ln of 6 divided by 4, which is equal to ln of 5 okay so from here i can see that my x is equal to ln of 5 
divide that by okay let me rewrite it down and just see that my x is equal to ln of 5 divided by ln by this one okay divided by ln of 6 divided by 4 okay we can rewrite this as ln of 5 divided by ln of 6 minus ln of 4 which gives exactly the same answer the same result as the first method so this is the solution to our equation which was e our x divided by 4 power x which is equal to 5 divided by 2 power x you could also simplify the result directly from here by saying that this is again equal to this is again equal to ln of 5 divided by ln of 3 divided by 4 and in this case we'll have that the result is sorry and in this and in this case we'll have that the result is equal to we'll see that the result is equal to x equal to ln of 5 divided by ln of 3 ln of 3 minus ln of 2 so this is also a result the answer to this equation thank you for watching the video like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you